Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel 7 video tutorial we will extend our last video which is about the session and in this video we will see about the session and middleware. So first of all let's see the points that we are going to cover in the last video. So we basically develop actually a session based application. So this is our first page when I just make something like uh, uh, login like Anil and some password then it will just take on the profile and if I am just going to log it out then we cannot access the profile screen we will redact it on the login screen basically right so we will just extend these things in with the middleware because last video we are not used the middleware I, and i will tell you that why we need the middleware also and this video is a perfect example of the group middleware so let's see the three points of the video we will just make a middleware we will register it and the session add the session code inside the middleware right so why we need actually middleware for that i am just going to open the web.php so guys if you did not watch our previous video and if you don't know about the session then you have to watch the previous videos the link is given in the description box a playlist is given in the description box which is which just cover the all topics so as you can see that if in the last video we checked that if session uh, is not present then it will redact on the login so it will be applied on a profile case what if i have thousands of pages and then i just want to redact them then is it uh, good that i'm just going to uh, write this code again and again and again right so this is not a better way to reduce this workload we need a middleware and in the middleware we will just write a code once and we can use it a more time let's see that how we can use this so first of all i'm just going to make a middleware for that just write a command php artisan make middleware and middleware name so my middleware name is like custom auth why custom auth because the auth is already provided by the laravel and we are just making the login with the customization that's why i just put it you can make any name whatever you want so let's see where we this present is uh, this file is present you will see it with the uh, just refresh it and you will find this file here right so now the second point is how we can register it for going to register it we must have to register this class with the kernel and here we have a three kind of middleware as you know um, you can just see that the global middleware routed middleware and the group middleware so I have to make a group here just write here custom auth and let's just register this okay so this is uh, the complete url and just uh, put here your cust uh, custom auth middleware url right so let's remove it now you can see that this is register and now let's open the web.php file like this here so I just remove this code from here to and just place this code on the middleware like here right so this middleware is registered now and whenever every request is made then it will check that the session is present or not if session is not present then it will just redact these things on the login page but how it know the actually URLs for showing the uh, group URL we must have to make a routed group so let's make it route and it will be a group and in the group let's take an array and in the array let's put a key with the name of middleware and after the middleware let's make a value of it and the value is also defined inside the array and let's define the custom auth middleware name basically right so just after defining it we have to just take a second parameter like this right now here we have to register our url so i'm just going to remove it because we don't need the url like this let's just paste it here only um, here only right so now let's see is it working fine or not so let's refresh it once and let's try to access the 
profile now you can see that you cannot access this profile here right so let's log in once again with the password and the username now you can see that you can access the profile perfect but let's say as i told you that let's say we have a thousand of pages and how we can uh, see that so let's say you are logged out now and you just want to access the home page but the functionality tell you that if you are not logged in you cannot even access this page you must be redirect on the login page for that this you are also be present inside this group as well right so now let's try to access it as you can see that now you are also on the login so let's register it uh, login it and now you can see this is a profile and now you can access the home page with the session so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care